Hello guys, this is Asad and you are watching Asad Electrical Channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about some questions regarding the generators. So the first question is, uh, what is the difference between generator and alternator? Okay, as we know, generator can be DC or AC, but alternator cannot because alternator means the AC generator like which produces alternating current supply is called alternator but the DC generator cannot produce AC and the AC generator cannot produce the DC but the problem is in my opinion there is no difference in alternator and generator because as I said as I explained in my previous videos every generator is an alternator basically because DC even you have DC generator DC generator cannot produce AC supply initially so you should have to convert from AC to DC via commutator via rectifier that's why if you take a look on the, your dynamo in the generator or in your car dynamo means the charging alternator the charging alternator is not a DC generator actually the alternator produces the AC supply after that we will convert uh, through the rectifier assembly and then we will receive the DC supply in the output so that's why we can say there is no difference in generator and alternator because every generator is an alternator basically. But you can say if specifically uh, somebody asks you what is the difference in generator and alternator. So you can say alternator is an AC generator and generator can be DC or AC. So this is the small difference uh, in the generator and alternator. So the second question is uh, what does mean by synchronous speed? and the synchronous generator okay synchronous speed is the speed of the prime mover so prime mover can be diesel engine petrol engine wind turbine gas engine steam turbine or any other thing uh, prime mover means the machine which rotates your generator so uh, synchronous speed means the speed of the prime mover and speed of your generator because your generator directly coupled with the prime mover so we can say the speed of your generator and prime mover should be same and this called is uh, synchronous speed and that's why we can say this generator is a synchronous generator simply. So the third question is uh, what AVR do in the generator okay AVR is the automatic voltage regulator so what AVR do in the generator the responsibility of AVR is to maintain the generator output voltage according to the load according to the and uh, demand of load if your generator running without load if you, uh, your generator is running on full load 50% load so AVR is the responsible to maintain and hold the voltage like if your generator is 400 voltage AVR should responsible to hold the 400 voltage and no matter your generator is running on load without load 10% 50% so and uh, this is the main role of the AVR. Uh, fourth question is can we run the generator without AVR? Uh, okay, this is good question. Actually, we can run the generator without AVR, but we should have to maintain the output voltage through the uh, external DC supply. You can use battery or you can use any other source, but you should have to control same like AVR and you cannot do because it's not easy. AVR is an automatic voltage regulator but if you remove the AVR and you put the battery so you should have to control via Rio state or potentiometer because excitation should be controlled uh, manually to maintain the generator voltage and this is uh, we can say this is possible but uh, it's too difficult so you can run generator without AVR for a short period not for a long time or not for continue uh, just for testing purpose and it is recommended to use the battery or any other source just to uh, check or just to diagnose the problem for your AVR. 